husband and wife, Lou and Adele Barlow, present Raw Impressions. <laughs> you going to clear your throat again? or? Good late afternoon, Hi. my darling. It's so late. It's actually 7 p.m. It's 7... Oh, fucking A. This day really zipped by. Yeah, I guess. For me. For you. I didn't mm. set a foot outside. No wonder I have a vitamin D deficiency. I know. I'm starting to Truly. realize that now that I'm back and I'm home and, and working and just entering the cave and just not leaving. You are you're you literally squirrel yourself away. I really do. I mm-hmm. go days without sunshine. I know. You're like, oh God, what is that? It's out there, baby. It was hot today. And you didn't even know. Nope. Yeah, I stepped out and I was like, whoo, hello. Steamy. It was it was really steamy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As a result, there was some some things that happened. Can I tell you about what, what happened? Ooh, what? Or is there something sorry, I have an itch on my nose, but um can I tell you about what I did? Yes. <laughs> it was steamy and you did something? Well- <laughs> yes. Please. No, <laughs> So I My heart is beating a little <laughs> faster. <laughs> it's really it's not great actually. It has nothing to do with me. It was something that affected me. Um so I went to a movie this afternoon with our friend Sarah and met her at uh, the local town um cinema, Greenfield Garden, Garden Greenfield, the garden. The garden, the garden of, in Greenfield. Yeah. And which I I'd like to say I feel really lucky that we have a movie theater so close to us. I just want to say that. I'm, it's one of the, it's a rare thing. It's a small town movie theater. I really, I really enjoy Downtown that. Downtown with the marquee, mm-hmm. the whole thing. Really, really sweet employees, by the way. These really sweet kids were working there and we chatted about her like little badges she was wearing and it was adorable. And um, so Sarah and I went to see this movie that was written by a local woman. Annie uh, Baker. You'll have to interject the, her name later. <laughs> but the name of the movie is Janet Planet. And I don't know if it's nationwide release, um, but it takes place in Western Mass. And she's from Western Mass. She's from Leverett, I believe. Grew up in Leverett. And, Annie Baker. But is primarily a playwright, I think. A Pulitzer Prize winning playwright. And so she wrote this film. It's fantastic. The movie is so good i i loved it i really really loved it and but so so, oh oh speaking of western mass this is my northfield mount herman bell the distinctive sound of the small bell indicates it's time for another unsponsored local ad (laughs) <laughs> unsponsored Yay. local I wasn't ad. sure if you wanted me to say it <laughs> wow it's been a while you're gonna want to listen to this and you're gonna want to listen close that's the sound of a deer field you're gonna wanna a quality piece of leather that fits around your waist you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna see how cheap these belts are you're gonna want a Deerfield belt. They're cheaper than they should be. They are quality belts. But a Deerfield belt, in both black and brown, you don't need a reversible belt. You just have two belts. Two sturdy belts. You're gonna want You're gonna want to wear this belt. You're gonna want a there are many sizes to choose from. There is no need to have a big flap of belt flopping at your waistline. Hang in there. You're gonna wanna listen to this. A thick piece of quality leather with just as many holes as you need. And no more. You're gonna want to smell this. You're gonna want a Deerfield belt. Available now at... Available now at... The Greenfield 
Farmers Co-op on Federal Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Business Route 2. It's on High Street. <sighs> so many things wrong with that commercial. <laughs> and also, oh, I would like to say... I made my hands sweat. It's so terrible. Okay. <laughs> oh my Maybe there could be a do-over. We can just keep per- trying to perfect this ad for as long as it takes. I just thought I had to start, start doing yes, it. Yes, just, just begin. Just begin. We've been threatening to do this i've wanted to do this commercial for this belt for a long time and then i was like ah i just didn't really like i wasn't at a hundred percent as far as my inspiration went you know but today i was like well i'm just gonna do it so i spent all day today inside working on my vitamin d deficiency making a terrible (laughs) unsponsored local ad (laughs) and the really the the (laughs) Most unfortunate thing is it's going to reoccur several times throughout this episode. <laughs> so I really, well, let me say, I'm really sorry. Let me say a couple things. Um, you said the smell of quality leather. Smell is a part of my story. So can we circle back before we come back to the Deerfield belt? So yes or no? Let's talk about the film that you were talking about. Okay, so no, why don't you Janet resume? Planet? Don't um, let me. Don't let me ruin it any more than i already (laughs) have and will okay so if you happen to pass through western mass and you've got like a nice little afternoon go see a movie there it's a really nice place to spend some time the garden cinema the garden cinema yeah and uh so the theater great okay what happened was we get in there and it's one of the smaller theaters because it's like a little indie film i think and like in the theater next door was i think like the quiet place part four or some shit like that and i could kind of hear the booming rumbling like through the walls but that a horror movie that's either neither here nor there i think so okay. yeah it's about like you get murdered if you talk or some shit and i can't even think about it more than that so we're sitting down we go in there it's almost empty it's almost empty there's like a few gray-haired people in there some locals you Hmm. know that's kind of the greenfield uh cinnamon experience yes in my experience yes i generally see a movie mostly with like maybe four or five other people maybe and this is going to be my raw impression okay um just that someone who when we first originally chose our seats near the back we were seated directly behind two people um are you going to say what I think you're going to say? <laughs> oh, my God. I just, really? I don't know. What, what do you think I'm going to say? Is it about farts? No. Oh. Okay. But it is about smells. Yeah. And you just said someone, and I was like, well, the way you said someone, I was like, it's portentous. So like Sarah and I someone. sit down, and we <laughs> both kind of like automatically realize we're immediately overwhelmed by a waft a really intense waft and remember today even though lou never left his squirrel um little house it was hot out here in greenfield hot and muggy and someone's body needs a checkup perhaps and a wash and i'm just gonna say some clinical deodorant possibly clinical they could grade. possibly be having a yeast infection oh, i don't know God. So, i don't I mean, know so i'm sorry that's very I, raw but it, it so the are you smell talking about the, uh, was like choking are you like are you like nautical like, it was, uh, it was is, it, is it nautical it was more like <laughs> Deeply, strongly musty, mixed with like polyester. I don't know. So I don't know if they're wearing like polyester panties. Musty, or you say? You mean just like regular bo, kind of sweaty? No, like sweaty pussy. I don't know. Like a like, really, wait. really <laughs> so it's like so a sweaty pussy that needs um, well, here, a shower. Okay, I don't. So, but but it's not not, not a, like a sexy sweaty. Oh, that means like you know seagulls, i know what you mean i know what you mean it means like a fishy shoreline <laughs> a fishy cunt it, it was not it was more just it, it wasn't quite that tang but it it still was strong and it was very distinct and sarah and i almost we were like oh oh god um should we 
maybe move like should we move should we move or like do you think we're like yeah let's let's just try another seat so we did we moved like to the front basically of the theater and had no one else in front of us and um it was better (laughs) it was better but sarah of course like she had this like little roll on essential oil like thing and she pulled it out right away and we like, you know, gave ourselves something to breathe, like, just to kind of, like, clear the air and, you know, like, start over. Like, here we are. Okay. Um, and then the the um, previews are going. And so, you know how they go from, like, it's very loud in there to all of a sudden it's very quiet, you know. And if you happen to be talking during a preview and you don't, like, time your words super great, like, something you say might be heard in the entire theater so (laughs) sarah said something like (laughs) it was just basically like the smell of that like vagina and then vagina was like so loud vagina (laughs) it was like the quiet part vagina and (laughs) we're like yes yes in agreement something was off and um and someone should just really, you know, I, I, I was. Were you worried? I was a little concerned. <laughs> it seemed, yeah, like maybe, maybe they need an antibiotic. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But like a shower for sure. And possibly cotton underwear and fresh air. I don't, I don't know. But. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm so that's that's what happened today. But then we saw a fantastic movie. Well, you know what? Thank you for not telling me immediately about this. When you're you got welcome, home I waited. I waited. I held on to it, this job. Saving it not just, just for, for me, but <laughs> so we we all could collectively hear the story. Yeah. of the sweaty pussy. It really was in the it Garden was, Cinema in mm-hmm. Greenfield, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. I also detected some pencil shavings. You know that smell, that particular <laughs> smell, like when someone's armpit kind of hits that pencil shaving smell i don't i just why aren't we showering what's happening like it's okay to to rinse off right honey come on please not everybody knows to shower and some people just don't i know okay i just well you know we you know are what? All, I am who I am, and others you, are who are they are who they, who I can't even talk. It made me it made me unsettled. You're cl- you're a clean person. I like it clean. You I like do. it clean. I do. You do. You know. Um, I'm <laughs> not so clean. <laughs> oh. But the distinctive sound of the tiny <laughs> bell indicates it's time for another unsponsored local ad. It's okay. It can't be stopped. No, I mean, is it happening again? <laughs> You're gonna wanna feel better. That's leather. That's real leather. That's cowboy leather. That's leather that's made for riding. And you're gonna wanna ride. And you're gonna wanna feel the same way. For that feeling that I am ready, I <laughs> am prepared. You're gonna wanna. You're gonna want Available now at The Greenfield Farmers Co-op On Federal Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts Business Well, it is on Business Route 2 It is not on Fe- Why did I say that? It's it's wow. on High Street It's literally on High Street Down on the street, High street from us We pass it daily on High Street, daily. It's 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 sort of the it's the street that runs parallel to the mountain there. It's it right, runs parallel to Federal. It does, but it's the High Street. It's yeah. the highest main street. As you move towards the ridge, mm-hmm. the Greenfield Ridge. I don't know what they call it. Wow, I, I don't know why you said Federal Street. That's wild. Isn't it weird? Yeah, yeah. What are they going to do with that ad? They can they can't even advertise with that ad because you got the street wrong. I, well, you know what. I just I wanted to get it out of the way. We'd been talking about it so much, and 
I it's got been so, a while since we've really honored something local. I know, and I want to do it right, and I want to have the time, and, and it just, you know, the full Compulsion record just came out. You're leaving tomorrow I know. T- to go visit gonna your, go back your parents to for July 4th. You're going back to Scani. Yeah. John Davis is arriving tomorrow. Yes, we're, we're gonna, switching spots. We're I'm leaving, and John really, Davis is coming. You know, I'm kinda, I got this kind of like roiling kind of nervousness in my chest and i just thought yeah. you know i do have to do I, i've got to do an unsponsored local ad it's been long enough mm. god damn it it really has it really has and i i feel like i just i'm like you know i'll just do what i did back in the day from season one i just did it i didn't think about it i just did it let's i can i can i say that uh, but that one really showed that i didn't think about it I just did it <laughs> Terrible. Well, we're gonna do. Let's say we're gonna do a an a, a an amended one. We'll do an amended one that I would also love to contribute to because now I am now also a proud owner of a Deerfield leather belt. You were originally the first, and then you were like, "Hey, babe, you need a belt. This is your. This, this is, is your it. Belt. This is literally your only belt you need." And I can I just say one thing about a word you used. What? What? Well, yes, please. Because you know words matter; they they make you think of things. And as a designer, <laughs> I would like to say that I don't often think of the word cheap and quality as going hand in hand. I would say this: it's inexpensive, and it's quality. So cheap to me means not well made, poor material pleather well so maybe we could amend that as well in the in the new version not say cheap yeah okay but do we really honest to god want to continue this deerfield yes i found out the deerfield uh leathers and it's actually in deerfield new hampshire i thought it was in maine i thought the belts were made in maine i thought it was vermont no it's maine it's new hampshire no it's maine it's new hampshire (laughs) no (laughs) I, I think they're made up. in Maine, though, right? <sighs> made in Maine? Yes. Like, they might be designed in New Hampshire, but they're constructed, I believe, in Maine. We, we, have, we, we have to go back down to the Greenfield Farmers Co-op, which is on High Street, and we will get we will look at the tag, because the tag will have the information. It's East Coast-based, guys. It's a local, made-in-the-USA belt, real leather. It's badass. It's, it's a good belt. It's literally a really good belt. I did really want to take time and really point out that the belt was great. Yes. And, um, but what I did do today and what I spent the vast majority of my day doing um, that commercial, that local unsponsored ad is, is subpar. It's not good. And I could have used your help. Well. But I, for, I forged on. I wanted, to, I wanted to have something special to base this episode around. You had no idea what I was going to gift you with. Boy, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Because the stinky pussy story is great. Mm-hmm. It's good. And I, I think... I, I'm just... I'm still... I'm, I'm blown away. Is there anything else that you need to add to that story? Well, I'm trying to think. I mean, you know... It just... Hmm. No. <laughs> Except it was just a lovely date, and I'm glad that my friend and I found uh, another location within the theater to enjoy the the movie, and we did, and so that's lovely. Um, so don't let that deter you from going to the Greenfield Garden Cinema, um, the smell, because it wasn't the cinema. It was, you know, attendees can be anywhere, and with their choice, their body choices, anyway, so, you know. <laughs> But I wanted to bring up something else that I was really curious about to get your opinion on. Um, And I'm looking at my phone because it's on my phone. Okay, so I saw this thing that said, (laughs) and this is so funny because another person just also brought this up to me the other day. It's official. This summer belongs to hot rodent men. Have you heard of this? That now there's like a, like a certain type of look that they're calling like rodent man, like kind of like a more like pronounced nose, you know, they're saying okay. like there's a certain look 
okay. with certain guys that they're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, because they're saying it used to be like maybe more of a chiseled face like a Brad Pitt or Chris Hemsworth, but now it's more of a pointy, angular I thought that, that with big ears, they come off as edgy and elusive. I thought that women thought that that was the look Unconventional, anyway. mousy I'm, man with a toothy smile. What do you think of that? Do you, because, okay, I'm going to show you. A to me, that, that, that's like all the, because I, do you I agree found with that? that? Can, I do, well, I, I've always thought that women seem to like men that look rat more boys. like rat boys. Yeah. yeah, like the rodent man. Yeah, like kind of handsome rats. Handsome rats. Yeah, you know, a little, I, bit, a little bit dangerous. They're kind of they kind of right, look. A there is fucked. an edgy thing to they it. They look a little fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like maybe they got hit by a baseball bat at some point, but they just. But in a great way. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Taller. I would not say. always. Well, some of these hot rodent men they're speaking of are. They look short to me. Like one of the men that they're saying is like the one of the leader of the rodent pack is the guy from the bear. You know, the lead, the chef. Yeah. Because he's got like kind of an angular. Yeah. True. True that. Anyway. So you and you know who else is on the list? Hmm. Adrian Brody. Yeah. Yeah. He's a hot rodent man. Yeah. So anyway, I was just wondering. Well, yeah, if you, no one's ever put put a name to it, but I've always felt that way. Yeah, I've always thought that the the rodents, the rats, there's room for them. Oh, the yeah. women seem to really like them. In fact, the more more, I think it kind of like the more messed up they look, the more more dark circles. It, it like it makes yeah. yeah women. I don't know what it triggers exactly. You know, maybe it's just like it means it's, that it's you can be kind of mysterious. It's kind hot. of a license to be, you know, kind of like sleazy with i mean the guy kind of like is handy i mean he's like it's gonna be okay <laughs> you know nothing you, i mean it's like no shame here no shame it's come, a, it's come an interesting me. look yeah i come mean with me into my to my uh i'm like am i intimidated by that look or do i like that look i think you i will say that you don't seem to favor the rodents mm-hmm. you don't Right. Although I can't pinpoint what you do find attractive. You, baby. That's all that matters to me. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like, okay, you like me? Good. <laughs> You're gonna wanna Deerfield belt. I wear my Deerfield belt all the time. <laughs> when I'm riding and when I'm riding. Because we're always going somewhere, folks. You're going to want to. And you're going to want to feel there. You're going to want to inhabit your space. And nothing says, I'm here and there. And anywhere I need to be, like a sturdy belt. You're going to want to. These are happy belts. You're going to want to smell it. And you're going to want to hear that snap. That's the snap that says, you're going to want to listen to me. You're going to want a Deerfield belt. You're going to want to. And you're going to want to know where to get them. You can buy your Deerfield belt for American cash at the Greenfield Farmers Co-op. That's the place that they sell baby chicks in the spring. <laughs> You're gonna wanna feel better. Available now at the Greenfield Farmers Co. High Street. On, on High Federal Street. High Street in Greenfield, High Massachusetts. Street. Once Business again. Route 2. <laughs> well. well, you know what we should do? I, we're definitely going to continue the story of the Deerfield Belt. What do you need? What happened? Come in here. Someone's creeping behind us. Oh, okay. Oh, it's good timing because it's time to end the episode, I think. Are you showing off Snuggle Bunny? Yeah. That's Izzy's special, her special thing, her little special lovey. Are you, is Snuggle Bunny kissing the mic? Oh, no, she's talking to the mic. She's talking? What is she saying? She's saying something. Something. That the people who are hearing this are going to say what they think. <laughs> Raw <What>? impressions. <laughs> I'm sorry, what just happened? Like That's father, the, like daughter. That was, just, like, that was a real scramble. Just, 
just nonsense. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Raw Impressions. Raw Impressions.